Before performing this procedure, ensure that the gradient proportioning valve is turned off to prevent siphoning of mobile phase. To do this, press the Diagnostics key from the 2695 main screen. The diagnostic screen appears. Next, press the other Tests key and select Turn off GPV from the list. Then press OK. A message box appears indicating that the gradient proportioning valve is off. Open the solvent management compartment doors. Turn the head nut counterclockwise several turns to remove it. Grasp the head inlet tube and pull the head straight out to remove it from the piston cavity. Be careful not to scratch the surface of the head when removing the seals. Use the nylon tipped end of the seal removal tool to extract the plunger seal from the head. Place the head, new plunger seal, and seal insertion tool on a lint free absorbent towel and thoroughly wet with methanol. Slide the plunger seal onto the seal insertion tool with the spring side exposed and insert the seal into the head. Again, being careful not to scratch the surface of the head, use a blunt tool to remove the face seals from the head. Wet the new face seals and the openings in the head thoroughly with methanol. Place the face seals into the openings on the head and press them into place using a flat object that covers the whole area of the seal. Do not use your thumb or fingernail to press the seals into place, as they may not sit flush in the head. Once the seals have been replaced, insert the head assembly into the piston cavity, making sure the head alignment pin is properly oriented and the J-tube is facing down. Replace the head nut and turn it clockwise until the head nut is tight. Before continuing, it will be necessary to open the gradient proportioning valve. Press OK to return the gradient proportioning valve to its normal open state. You will be informed to stand by while the GPV resets itself. Next, press the exit key to exit diagnostics. To prime the solvent management system, you will need to perform a dry prime. Begin by pressing the menu status key to enter the status screen. Press the Direct Function Screen key and the Direct Functions menu appears. Select Dry Prime, then press OK. The Dry Prime dialog box appears. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line you want to prime. Then press Continue. Next, open the vent valve and insert the priming syringe. Withdraw the syringe plunger to pull solvent through the tubing. You may need to exert force to pull the air and solvent through the system. Continue until you pull all the air through the solvent line into the syringe. Repeat the dry prime for each solvent line you want to use. Then close the prime vent valve. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line with which you want to prime the system. Waters recommends that you prime using the solvent with the lowest viscosity to help purge air from the lines, especially if the inline vacuum degasser is installed. In the Enter a Duration field, enter the length of time in minutes to prime the solvent management system. Start with a value of 5 minutes. Press Continue. The solvent management system begins to operate. At the end of the priming period, the solvent management system turns off and the separations module enters the idle mode.